Hello, I am Dr. M. K. Jain, professor working at Department of Hydrology. I am working in different facets of hydrology. Today I am going to speak about one of my project which has been sponsored by Ministry of Earth Science that is on real time discharge estimation using non-contact hydrometric measurements. Real time estimation of the discharge is needed for operation of dam and planning and management of water resources structure. Currently in India, Central Water Commission is maintaining around 900 gauging stations and these stations are using conventional methods like current meter method or boat method by ADCP. But in these methods, the velocity measurement is time consuming and costly as well as during the flood events, it is difficult to measure the velocity as well as it endanger the operator's life. Also during the night time, the measurement of the discharge is not possible. So in this project, we try to use non-contact radar sensors to measure the average velocity as well as to estimate the discharge. This will lead to potential development of uh, next generation discharge measurement stations in India and it will uh, save both time and money. Under this project, we will be deploying non-contact sensors which are working on radar principle. So the water level would be measured using the radar principle as well as the velocity of the flow would be measured by measuring the shift in the radar frequency. Under this project, the sensor will first sample the velocity and from there using the entropy principles, we will be estimating the maximum flow velocity and the horizontal velocity profile would also be estimated. This would lead to development of two dimensional velocity profile. In this schematic, the entire operation is shown. The sensor is sensing the depth as well as it is also sensing one point velocity measurement. Then using the entropy principle, we try to estimate the average velocity for the section and the section properties are also known and from there the flow area is computed. Once the flow area and the average velocity is available, then we can compute the discharge using non-contact methods. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.